Hello and welcome to Crime Watch Daily Updates. I'm your host, Anna Garcia. Spring break is a time to catch up with friends and soak up the sun as the warmer weather hits. One 18-year-old who was home from college, however, wouldn't be able to experience that. Angelica A.J. Hadsell was back in Norfolk, Virginia for spring break when she disappeared on March 3rd of 2015. She was reported missing March 5th and eventually found in a drainage ditch at an abandoned home five weeks later. Her body was covered by plywood near a shed on the property. The medical examiner determined AJ died from acute heroin poisoning and homicidal violence. She reportedly had three times the lethal amount of heroin in her system. Her stepfather, Wesley Hadsell, was arrested and charged in connection with her murder. Investigators found a shovel, gloves, duct tape, and GPS in his car that linked him to the murder scene. The address of the abandoned home where she was found had even been programmed into his GPS. Wesley Hadsell initially went on trial in 2020, but the judge declared a mistrial because attorneys for the two sides reportedly could not agree on evidence to show the jury. He went back on trial in February of 2022. His attorneys argued that she committed suicide with headache medicine, but prosecutors said during the trial he abused her, he beat her, and then he poisoned her with heroin. Hadsell was convicted of first-degree murder and concealment of a corpse. The jury reached their verdict in less than 40 minutes. In April of 2022, Wesley Hadsell was sentenced to life plus 15 years in prison for AJ's death. Let's take a look back at the unfortunate death of a young woman who was poisoned by a member of her own family. Where in the world is Angelica Hadsell, the pretty college freshman known as AJ, seemingly vanished? The last time she was seen, home for spring break, and then she disappeared. In a massive search, investigators scour the area, fanning out near her home in Norfolk, Virginia. After looking at hundreds of clues, police first suspect AJ's longtime friend, Corey French, who lived down the street. They haul him in for interrogation. So they said, did you kill AJ? And I was like, no. In this telephone interview with our affiliate WTKR in Norfolk, French says he was grilled by police for hours. Then they hit him with a bombshell. AJ's jacket, the last thing she was seen wearing. Cops told French it was found hidden in his house. My whole heart fell to my feet. My head, like, just exploded. I just lost it right there. Here's the strange part. Police didn't actually find the jacket. Who did? AJ's stepfather, Wesley Hadsell. Cops claim he broke into French's house. Police arrest Hadsell and haul him in. The whole truth with the jacket is, yes, I did find the jacket. Okay, it was in his couch cushion. Cops charge AJ's stepfather with interfering with their investigation. He's put in jail. I had only one thing in my heart, and that was to go after that kid because I thought he had something to do with my daughter's disappearance. But Corey French is cleared. Cops now believe Wesley Hadsell actually planted AJ's jacket in his house to throw police off his trail. News crews swarmed the Hadsell family house. AJ's mom exploding at reporters from her front porch. You do not have permission to be here to film anything. Please respect our privacy and leave us alone. I will call the cops right now. I'm not playing. That same day, in a jailhouse interview with Marissa Jasek from our Norfolk affiliate WTKR, Hadsell insists he's innocent and asks the public to keep looking. If you guys put my daughter's picture out there, that that's, that's what matters. And then again, in another interview weeks later, AJ's stepfather maintains his innocence. I swear to you that I didn't hurt my daughter. I don't know who did, and if I did, I wouldn't protect her. Then in this phone interview from jail, Wesley reveals what cops say is a major clue. Listen to how many times Hadsell speaks about AJ in the past tense. Police pay close attention. Keep in mind, this interview is done in the middle of the search to find AJ alive. My daughter was an awesome person. She helped people, she excelled, she inspired, she, she loved people. My daughter didn't have enemies, but let's say she had someone who liked her, 
loved her, obsessed about her. Do you think she's alive? I have hope, yes, ma'am. More than a month after AJ's disappearance, the investigation takes a tragic turn. AJ's remains are found 40 miles from her home in the backyard of a vacant house hidden behind tall grass and weeds. How did the 18-year-old get there? It's a mystery that haunts her family and friends. In a mysterious twist, pathology results on AJ's remains come back, revealing that the 18-year-old died from acute heroin poisoning. Hansel insists his stepdaughter never did drugs. And I'm not gonna sit here and have my daughter's name drugged through the mud any kind of way. She did not use drugs. She, she was murdered. And there's more. Cops say Wesley was sighted in Franklin County the day after AJ disappeared. It's close to where her body was found. Had Soul's explanation? His work at a plumbing company brought him there. So you were in the same county where her body was found Correct. the day after she disappeared? Correct. How do you think that looks? It doesn't look. It leaves a lot of room for questioning. Angelica A.J. Hadsell, a pretty freshman at Longwood University in Virginia, disappears while home for spring break. After a massive search, her remains are found at an abandoned house 40 miles away. In a shocker, A.J.'s adopted father, Wesley Hadsell, is arrested in connection with her disappearance. Hadsell continues to maintain his innocence. And on this day from his jail cell, with game over tattooed on his eyelids, he tearfully reads a poem he wrote in AJ's memory. Angelica Marie Hatzel, an angel in wait. Sorry. Our baby girl is flying up to heaven's gate. A heart like yours just can't be defined in 18 years. No reason or rhyme. You may be gone, but you'll never be forgotten. I pray to God, your mom and I spoiled you rotten. Despite Wesley Hadsell's tears, the evidence is mounting against him. Investigators have never officially charged Hadsell as a suspect. So why is he sitting in jail? He's being held on charges of interfering with the investigation and a weapons violation as a convicted felon. And new federal court documents reveal investigators believe Hadsell abducted AJ. The records show detectives watched Hadsell's every move for a week. They saw him driving erratically, changing his clothes, at one point even wearing a mask to hide his face. The records say police used that information as probable cause to search Hadsell's hotel room, where he was living at the time. So they were looking at him as a suspect. Absolutely. I don't think there's any question about that. And I think they're looking at him even more closely now than ever. And in that room, a treasure trove of evidence. They found 80 9mm rounds of ammunition stashed in an air conditioning vent, duct tape, and heroin residue, the same drug that killed AJ. I think the evidence equally applies to other individuals. There's other individuals in this hotel room who may have had a motive to harm AJ or who have a closer relationship to her than just her stepdad. He's one piece of the puzzle. And as for the bullets in the AC vent, in a phone interview, Hansel told our affiliate WTKR the ammo wasn't his. I have done nothing wrong, Marissa. I didn't hurt my daughter. I didn't have ammunition. I'm not running around toting guns. But that story quickly changed after federal agents review several of his phone calls from jail Hadsell said the rounds of bullets belonged to him, all the time continuing to maintain his innocence. The police haven't said anything. It's been 11 weeks. You can't tell us when she met her demise. Do you think that they may be waiting so long to reveal things because they're building a case against you? Honestly, I don't know. I didn't hurt my daughter, so it's going to be hard to put those pieces all together. But then another damning piece of evidence. Investigators seize Hadsell's work van GPS. When asked about it, Wesley claims he was never at the abandoned house, the house where AJ's body was found. There's no facts to prove I was out there, ever. I wasn't out there. I was in Southampton. I was where I was supposed to be doing my job. And when the time clock expired for the day, I came home. 
that's that should be validated by uh, vehicle GPS, um, cell phone GPS. Investigators call his bluff by looking at tracking data stored inside the GPS. They follow the path, a path that leads them directly to the house where AJ's body was found. They've been looking at Mr. Hadsel under a microscope for months and months and months. And if they had any evidence that he was involved in this, I'm sure he would have already been charged. Despite everything that's come out on this case, Hadsel's mom sticks by her son. He's not been charged. He's like an escape goat. And all he wants is to find out what happened to his daughter. And she's keeping the memory of her beloved granddaughter alive. Angelica was and always will be one of the most wonderful, beautiful people I've ever known. She was just destined not to be old, and she'll always be young. For now, Wesley Hadsel sits behind bars with no bail. He's facing a long list of charges related to this case, including possession of heroin. Most recently, he pled guilty to a federal ammunition charge as part of a plea deal. And from jail, Wesley Hadsel vows to find what he calls the truth and find justice for AJ. Someone killed Angelica Hadsel. Someone poisoned her. Let the facts fall where they fall. They're not here.